Hello everyone and welcome to the Risk RiskFiveCon online webinar series by Andes Technology. I am Niraj from Solution Architecture Division and today's topic for webinar is Andes Software Solutions for Risk Five. Andes is a founding platinum member and major contributor to the Risk Five Foundation. We are chairing task groups such as the P extension group for the DSP extensions. We are also contributing to GNU, LLVM, U-Boot, GLibc, Linux development. We have over 1 billion annual run rate of Andes Embedded SOCs with over 300 customers in Taiwan, China, US, Europe, Japan and Korea. Andes is a 15 year old CPU IP company which is headquartered in Taiwan and we went public in 2017 and right now we are focusing on the v5 cpu core families which are based on the risk 5 standard we have closed silicon valley ties with our core r d from amd intel babes nvidia and sun and over 80 percent of andy's employees are r d let's see an overview of andy's products we have the andy's core processors which are our risk five cores and they are highly optimized design with leading power performance and area the anti-star v5 architecture is the best extension to risk five we have anti side tools which is our professional integrated development environment for software development we also offer FPGA based platforms so our customer can simulate their SOC in very early stage. And then we have Andisoft which is an extensive stack of software reaching from bare metal software over Arto systems up to Linux OS. And with all these products customers can focus on creating their SOC and don't need to spend time setting up all the other environment. Today's agenda for the webinar is we will have an overview of tools and runtime support. We will talk about Andesite IDE and its features like simulator, compilation and debugging. We will see the software support package with bare metal support, Arthos, Linux and DSP ISA. Let's talk about the SOC software development environment. The Andesite is an integrated development environment suite which is based on Eclipse and it includes the IDE, tool chains and self-contained components such as simulator, flash burn and ice driver. So Andesite makes it possible to run, edit, debug and profile source programs on a target system. The target system may be a virtual evaluation platform connected to the debugging host via an SOC simulator specified by a VEP configuration file or it may also be an evaluation platform such as AndyShape which is connected to the host through an ICE debugger. Through AndySite we will also be able to get the profiling or debugging data through these target systems. The overview of tools and runtime support. Andesite ID has simulator like Andesim for near cycle accuracy, QEMU for compilation, we have GNU toolchain, LLVM compiler linker, optimized MCU library and DSP library. For debugging, we support GDB debugging speed optimized open OCD, USB to JTAG, ICE cable debugging. For Andisoft board support package, we have several bare metal sample projects for Andy specific features. For Artos support, we have Free Artos, Zephyr, LightOS, RT Thread. For Linux, we have MMU TLB support and it is LTB tested. And we also provide the Arduino support for Andy's Corway F1. FPGA port and on the right hand side you can see our partners and third parties which support development with Andy's solutions.
Let's talk in detail about Andesite IDE and its features. This is the dashboard of the Andesite IDE. On the left hand side you can see the project explorer which will show you all the projects you are working on. The editor view will show the code edit view. The calling stack or instruction stepping will allow you to debug and see which instruction is currently being executed or debug. The memory from CPU or bus is shown in the memory view and you can add memory monitors to see the memory contents at a specific address. The SOC registers and CPU registers will show you the register names and their descriptions and also the addresses. The developers can set up the breakpoints for stopping the program at specific lines. The target manager will show which target is it currently running on and the console will show the output. In Andesite for project setup, we have Metalink or script editor which is done with our LD SAG tool and a SAG file is written in a concise scripting language defined by Andes and specifying the memory layout of executable images and it can be converted into GNU LD linker script using the Andes LD SAG utility as you can see. The utility also has two options for drag and drop or edit directly with the source code for, so it is easier for users to generate the linker script. We also have the Flash ISP which can be configured through the graphical user interface. The debug support features such as virtual hosting, register bit will display or update, break and display on exceptions, script based RTOS awareness and stack protection handling. We will talk about it in more details later. As Andesite is based on Eclipse, we also support custom plugin interface. Andesite provides handy profiling tools for program analysis such as function profiling, code coverage, performance meter, function code size and stack size. As you can see on the right hand side, the total cycle counts the, for every function can be seen here and the time percentage also in the function code size view you can see the main function how much is the total function code size for that function so these features are very useful for the developers the global variables live view is for updating the global variable values in a fixed interval during runtime and you can see the changes are highlighted in yellow color so it's easier for users to track the global variables values during runtime. The register bit fill weaving and update is for bit fills display and update of CPU registers and SOC registers. For example, you can see the CPU registers. You can, if you edit it and say change the value, it, the new value will be highlighted in the yellow color and as the same goes for the SOC registers. The benefits of these are bit fields can be modified at the runtime, the description of bit fields can be shown and the, it is very good for debugging and programming. And why do we say it is so useful is because for example if you want to know about a specific registers and if you don't have the description about it right there in the IDE itself you need to go to the documentation and search for the register specific register and it's which is a very time consuming process so the register bit fill weaving will let you shorten that time period and give you the handy tool in the IDE itself Andesite also provides the general exception handling which helps users to cache the root calls with ease and you don't need to modify the source code. The general exception handling setting can be found under the IDE debug configuration. 
where you can enable the break on general exceptions option and then choose which general exception you want the program to stop on and when a general exception is raised it will pop up an error like this for example here the general exception is illegal instruction and it will also show the debug program counter which is makes it very easy to find to exactly where the exception is happening which otherwise would have been very difficult to trace Andesite supports RTOS awareness debugging on free RTOS executables. A script based plugin is used to create tables and display RTOS information. The RTOS information table lists the priority, stack, loading address, and event status for each context, making it easy to monitor task status and OS kernel activities. Here you can see the task details and the registers for the inter-process communication and Andesite also provides several RTOS applications to test the RTOS awareness debugging. The static stack analysis view. In this, the sizes are estimated statically after project is built. It also reports the maximum size of the whole program and it displays information of stack usage for each function. The maximum amount of stack used by function colleagues is showed in this color. In the sign color, in the amount of stack used for the current function is shown and in the brown color, the amount of stack used before the current function is called is shown. The stack safe feature is for stack protection and stack recording. In the recording mode, it tracks the maximum usage of stack pointer. Once you enable the hardware stack recording option, it will keep recording the current stack usage in the right bottom corner of Andesite IDE. Once you enable the protection mode, which is for raising an exception if it is stack overflow or underflow in the case of violation of the upper bound or lower bound you will see an exception which is popped up which shows the hardware stack protection overflow here andesite also provides an option to customize the layout of the menu and toolbar items according to your needs for this you can go to window perspective and customize perspective options after that you can you will be able to change the menu and toolbar visibility you can choose the options which you most frequently use and then you can also save the UI or export it or even import the UI which has been already created by your colleague Andesite also has the multi-core development support and with this, it is easy to develop the multi-core software by simply creating multi-core projects with separate build and debug configurations for different cores. For this, you can choose the corresponding multi-core pro chip profile and create a project. Then you will be able to separately build and debug configurations for different cores. For example, here are two cores. And we can set the different options for core 0 and core 1 and once you build and debug the project you will be see for debugging for core 0 and we are debugging for core 1 this is just an example to show you one of our customers they were doing a multi-core development and this is the debugging for 33 cores project the cache dump view makes it easy to monitor CPU caches when program suspends. Recently, one of our customers was having a difficulty and we were able to assist them properly once we analyzed their cache, which they sent us using this view. Andesite comes with the updater tool, which is very friendly and easy to use update interface. You can check for update by clicking on help, check update option, 
and after that if an update is available it will show in the notification wizard and once you click on that update available pop-up you will be able to see the update packages which are available and after selecting the package and clicking on next you will see that the system will download and install the update packages next we will talk about andysoft board support package with our bare metal support artos linux and dsp isa andysoft application building blocks the fundamentals include compiler and toolchain which are contributed to and supported officially by GNU and LLVM communities. We have optimized MCU lib, new lib, glibc, and DSP libraries. With concise linker script and its tools, we have the linker scattering and gathering LDSAC tool. We also provide sample programs to demo and discord features in the package. The real-time operating system for example open source like Zephyr, FreeRTOS and commercial like ThreadX, LightOS, RT Thread, and so on are supported. For Linux middleware and software framework, we have ported the Linux kernel since version 4.17 with device drivers and advanced features. And we have included more information for your reference. Andisoft bare metal support. With rich startup demo projects for Andy specific features. For example, interrupt, we have platform level interrupt controller, click demos. For memory, we have MMU, PMP, cache, cache log demos. Power management, we have power break, hibernate, wait for interrupt. For programming, we have DSP programming, printf, UART, redirect, C programming demos. I also have demos like StackSafe, Performance Monitor, and SMP. We have MC driver APIs, which are the Andy's MCU software interface, and which include drivers like UART, GPIO, SPI, I2C. Arduino development is supported by PSP and AndySide with the support for Arduino language reference APIs and Arduino standard libraries. As you can see on the left hand side, our Corvey F1 Arduino based platform and Andyside ID Arduino software development plugin lets you debug and build projects for Arduino development. Andysoft Artos support. So Artos is a market leading real time operating system for MCU applications. It's popular because of the scalable size with memory footprint as low as 9 KB. The tickless idle is the power saving by stopping periodic tick interrupt in the idle mode supported by standard RISC fire architecture as you can see in this picture. The Andes Corvey F1 board is AWS FreeRTOS qualified. The free Artos test suite is verified on it and we support Artos awareness debugging through Andy's site and also through our third party vendors like IAR, Lotbug and Sager. For more Artos OS we have Zephyr and OS which runs based on MCUs for variable and IoT devices. It has very small memory footprint which will run in 8 kilobytes and which is highly configurable and modular. We have ThreadX which is pre-certified by TUV and UL to many safety standards which has EAL 4 plus common criteria security certification and has a very small footprint as 2 KB instruction area and 1 KB of RAM. We have Silix OS which supports 32 or 64 bit versions and MMU, uh, which has a large scale middleware such as Qt, CodeSys, Python, JavaScript, and has functional safety certified for rail transport, medical, industrial automation, automotive, electrical power, and airspace applications. We have LightOS for lightweight IoT operating system, which makes everything around us smart, and which has an ultra small kernel 
which has low power consumption and one stop software platform for lowering development requirements and improving the development efficiency. The RT Thread is an open source IoT operating system under the Apache 2.0 license, which has abundant software components such as GUI, TCP IP stack, file system, and the device and cloud integration design it is known for, uh, which is easy to connect various IoT devices with cloud. Antisoft Linux. Well, the Linux kernel is ported since 4.17 and has SMP support, cache coherence and cache not coherence support. It is LTP Linux test projects verified and we also have the dri device drivers for A350 platform. The U-Boot has been ported the RV32 and RV64 and we are Andes is a maintainer and contributor. It also has the SMP support, a supervisor mode support, and device drivers for A350 platform. And we also have the BBL. For Linux distribution and build system, we have the Fedora support, which is ported to a 32-bit, Reactor Project support, OpenWRT, and BuildRoot, all of these which are available upon request. The Linux kernel tools we have S-Trace or F-Trace for developers to be debug, the perf to evaluate the bottleneck of the whole system. For the system management unit SMU, we have functions like suspend to RAM. It is suspended by the CFS and wake up by RTC and UART intro. And for power break, we have the power throttling mechanism, which is controlled by CFS. The kernel module support is for all relocation types for RV32 and RV64 and is GitLab service for Linux development packages is also available. The QEMU is supported by Andy Star RISC-5 V532 or 64-bit CPUs, is supported by the A350 SOC platform, it is integrated with Andy Site IDE and for the early software development and verification include run uboot and linux with ltp run freeartos with software applications and used it is used by hpe and open source project for uefi adk2 and it is also used by red hat for fedora risk 5 port recreation farm the dsp application support for digital signal processing uh, for DSP ISA assembly programming, it is derived and evolved from real use cases over decades. As I mentioned earlier, we have been working for 15 years. We support both 32 bit and 64 bit DSP instructions. It supports saturation and rounding, and it covers the SIMD, partial SIMD, bit manipulation, and etc. We have DSP intrinsic functions, which will help to programmers and they don't have to program it in assembly. Uh, we have DSP library with more than 200 functions in various categories. And we also have some source patterns which are recognized by compiler and BSP instruction are auto-generated to facilitate the development. And it is also compatible with CMC's DSP library API, which by including an API wrapper header file. The IR embedded workbench for RISC-V is a complete build and debug toolchain for RISC-V and it also supports all the series of Andy's RISC-V CPUs which shows our collaboration with other vendors. To sum up today's webinar, I would like to say Andy Site IDE has rich features to speed up the software development and its ease of use makes you reduce the development time. The Andisoft PSP package has the well-integrated building blocks to help users to build SOC software quickly and easily. And it is highly optimized toolchains for better performance and smaller memory footprint. The Andis comprehensive risk by software solutions will help you to achieve fast time to market and high quality. 
as I mentioned earlier, we have been supporting 5 billion plus associates and hence I would like to share and this is your trusted risk 5 partner. Thank you for joining today's webinar and we will see you next webinar.